chair's a bit creaky. I didn't realise until I, <laughs> I sat down. I normally, uh, I need, normally sit on the other chair. This is the pretty chair that I look at when I'm sitting down on the, uh, on the other one. But it'll, it'll be okay. Uh, this is my happy place where I talk about knitting. I absolutely love knitting. It is a little bit of an addiction to me. <laughs> um, I find it very difficult to put, put my knitting down and uh, I don't, to be honest. I'm very lucky that um, I'm self-employed and when I'm at work, I can knit away um, and I often do. I, th I, I, I run a little uh, craft um, and secondhand shop. Um, and I think knitting is such a lovely icebreaker. Um, a lot of people ask me about knitting, what I'm knitting, how I'm knitting. Is that I'm finished? Um, and I was told by my mum and grandma when I was about eight years old. Um, so I knit, um, I think it's called Nordic knitting, but similar to uh, continental knitting, but very different to British knitting. Um, so it's a nice icebreaker. I love to talk about knitting. Uh, I knit on circular needles, which most of the people who see me knitting are more familiar with straight needles. So it's another, um, it's quite exciting seeing someone knitting on a, on a um, circular needle and going around in circles. And that's, uh, I like going around in circles. Um, but this is what I'm knitting. This is my latest finished, nearly very close to finished object. All the ends, oh, maybe they're not. I was going to say all the ends are weaved in. I, I think they mostly are. This is my fourth farmhouse cardigan. I am a little bit boring like that. When I find a pattern that I like, I will just knit it in every colour. Um, I'm a little bit similar with them, with clothes as well, if I find a pair of jeans that I like the fit of, I, I'll try and get them in all different shades of denim. But um, this um, um, farmhouse cardigan, um, this one is knitted flat because it's all, I've got the opening at the front, um, at, but the sleeves are, um, you start with the sleeves actually, um, they're knitted in the round. Um, it's, it's a lovely cardigan. Um, I love the shape of it. I love the um, broken rib. Um, I think that's like poor man's, poor, poor person's fisherman's ribbing. Um, but it's, it's really, I, I really enjoy knitting it. Um, how you knit broken rib on this pattern anyway is on the right side, you knit every stitch and on the reverse side, you knit one and you purl one. And that creates a lovely broken rib. Um, I, I, last winter I knitted two mohair versions. Uh, they were both four ply held together with uh, mohair. I wear them so much. They were both of, ca of gauge uh, because this is an iron weight pattern. But I think I knitted a couple of sizes larger than I needed to um, knit um, to get the get the right size. Um, but it's quite handy actually. This um, cardigan, you start knitting um, the uh, you start knitting the um, uh, backs of the pockets first. So what you do is you knit that square. That's the first thing you knit. And that can be your gauge swatch. Um, this one, if I remember right, my um, I, I was I was actually on gauge, um, and I was quite comfortable knitting this because this this was my fourth one that I've knitted. I've knitted them all with different with different yarns, and this one is my latest favorite combination of two different two very different yarns i knitted the uh, snow cloud sweater uh, which was a test knit for melanie burke a couple of weeks ago it's a bat wing 
sweater. I think they're called dolman sleeves. Um, I absolutely love it. I wear it all the time. Um, and I knitted this with the same combination of yarns, just in different colour. The uh, Batwing or the Snow Cloud sweater I'm knitting uh, off-white and cream. Not cream. Off, they were off-white and some other fancy name, Marzipan maybe. And these are both Drops yarns. Uh, drops uh, Saffron, which is 100% cotton, and then Drops flora which is my favorite i just i love drops flora um oh was this actually drops flora now now i'm doubting myself i'm sure this was drops flora it's alpaca alpaca, alpaca and wool mix and it's just such a lovely yarn so i held two strands together the lighter one that you'll see that um that's the cotton and then the darker one is the uh, wool alpaca mix and it just created a lovely marling effect and i think it really suits this pattern all i need to do is uh, sew some buttons on uh, that's all i need to do oh i do remember now i my uh, stitch gauge was spot on but my roll gauge was out and on the pattern uh, she asked you to make uh seven bottom holes I'm, I'm sure she does but i've got eight biggest more because i did it i did the uh, bottom hole every so many rows but my roll gauge was out but i stopped doing the um bottom holes at the same time when i uh, joined the sleeves on because that seems to <coughs> always feels the natural place for the uh, highest bottom so i'll just get some buttons and i'll get them sewn on but i've already been wearing this I blocked it straight away after, after when I finished um, because this broken rib opens quite a lot and also my sleeves were a little bit tight. I didn't realise that how much tighter my um, uh, sort of short um, circumference uh, knitting is compared to knitting flat and I think this this is why I'm not wearing the first one I ever knitted. Um, I don't have that cardigan anymore, but the first one I knitted, I knitted in um, Navita Seven Brothers Aran Weight Yarn. It was very hot last summer and I, um, I knitted it when it was very, very hot. I remember that. Um, and I think the sleeves on that one were too tight as well. So I should have remembered to go up a needle size for the sleeves, but after blocking, <coughs> they're actually okay. They're not, um, there's, there's probably a one centimeter of positivity, so there's not much there, but I think it's quite nice for the summer because I will probably wear this with a um, sleeveless dress or um, vest like I'm wearing it with a vest today, so I think it'll be perfect. Uh, but next time, I will remember to go up a needle size for the sleeves. But yeah, really, really enjoyable knit. Um, the only place where I tend to go wrong on this one, although I've knit it four already, is when you start the uh, Rathlon decreases. I always go a little bit wrong. My uh, knits and pearls get a bit mixed up so, and, and, and I have to sort of uh, fix them a couple of rows after. Um, so top tip if you knit this cardigan is make sure you sort of stop every now and then and just hold it far away, a little bit further away so that you can see that your, uh, your knits are stacked still and your pearls are stacked because I've went wrong quite a few times on all four of these cardigans. Maybe next time I'll, uh, I'll learn, learn how to how to not go wrong but yeah i've already been wearing this i haven't finished this a couple of days ago and it dries quick really quickly um how i block my uh, knitwear is i um i put it in a bucket or washing up bowl um with eucalyptus leaving it's um leaving hand wash leaving wool wash <laughs> you don't need to rinse it out i just completely soak it in there just leave it and um 
maybe for about half an hour. Then I squeeze it all out and put it in the uh, washing machine just uh, to spin it dry on the maximum spin speed. Uh, and then I'll just lay it flat. Uh, but this one, I did stretch the uh, sleeves widthwise to try and make them a uh, uh, little bit wider because they, they were very tight. And I think it has worked because it doesn't feel that tight anymore. It's probably a little bit tighter than I intended. But my sleeves are very long. Probably in the winter, I will uh, like them um, longer to keep warm. But now it's quite nice to just... Uh, fold the cuffs. Yeah, very happy with this. And my uh, absolute favourite yarn combo. I've got I've got a jumper and a cardigan now. Um, I shouldn't have really started with this cardigan because I was knitting summer uh, tops, summer t-shirts like this. No, tomorrow when, when we last spoke. I have just, I think I have just finished this um, Amadeo tea. I think this was still slightly wet on the, uh, on the hanger or on the blocking mat, but I think I uh, showed it to you. Absolutely loved knitting this. It's got a brilliant rhythm to it. And I wanted to love to wear it, but I haven't worn it. I haven't worn it much. I'm struggling to style it. I'm struggling to um, know how to how to wear it. The problem with it is that it's very oversized, um, which the um, which it is uh, in the pattern is very oversized. I think there's twenty to thirty centimeters positive ease, um, but I think it's too long for me. I don't know whether I should shorten it. It's um, I, because I think if if you've got a big oversized top, I think it looks better if it's cropped. This. It's too, it just feels too long. I did wear it uh, one Sunday and I just tucked it into my skirt, which was fine, but I didn't quite feel comfortable with it. So I need to find out how to, how to wear it really. Um, maybe with a dress, if I have a belt and a dress, maybe tuck it under the belt or something, but I'll, uh, or I'll have to shorten it. But again, this is drops, saffron, my favourite cotton yarn to knit with this four ply. Um, it's very soft, it's not crunchy at all, it doesn't split, um, it's very easy to knit with. And cotton can be difficult to knit with because there's no give in it, there's no stretch to it like in wool. So it always um, springs on when I start knitting with cottons, it does take a little bit of getting used to. But I'm going to try and start to love this because I love the colour. I love the um, the bees. It was such joy to knit. There's lovely rhythm to it. I just need to see how I can learn to love it. If I don't, I will um, maybe measure with the t-shirt. Maybe I'll need to make it a bit smaller. Maybe finish the uh, raffling increases top down. Maybe finish the raffling increases a bit sooner, and maybe that will that will fix it. But it was lovely to knit anyway, and I think I will get wear out of it when I just learn how to learn how to wear it. But then um, I had I had uh, when I started knitting this, I had actually ordered enough yarn to knit four summer t-shirts, um, and I wanted to knit them all, which I have done. Uh, this was the first one. This, these are all drop saffron, um, and I think I ordered, I ordered enough for four jumpers, and then I had to order um, pair of um, ball of um, drops fable uh, to get a pair of socks. Um, I did, I really wanted a, a pair of black socks, which I have knitted. I've got to bring them with me. To get over the uh, 30 pounds spend to get a free postage so that's incredible value uh four t-shirts and a pair of socks for 30 pounds i think it came to 30 pounds and 94p or something like that so i think that's amazing value and it is a really good yarn i knitted um 
navy um, t-shirt with this last summer and I'm already I've already got it ready to to wear this summer it is washed and worn very well but anyway then I was looking for a t-shirt pattern for this year um, and I was looking on Drop's website because I've got so many patterns in my library that I've paid for and I thought I don't really want to pay for another pattern I've got so many patterns and let's look at some free patterns but I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for but then I found the exact t-shirt that I have been looking for it's called Kevut it's a, a Finnish word um, it translates to light um, and it's by Mayu KP I've got one of her books actually uh, contrast that's that's um, um, all her designs by Liner Magazine uh, Publishing um, and this uh, I've actually I've missed three of them they're all slightly different but this is how the original was it's amazing construction I was so intrigued by it uh, just just loved it and uh, this is how it looks on the pattern page um, it's top down um, four ply um, cotton I think it was I think the original was in cotton as well um, you start the, um, start it, it top down start it with the collar um, you knit some short rows and all this top part is knitted in the round and it fits so well I should have worn this today actually it fits really really well shall I pop it on I'll pop it on I just love the fit of it um, and the length of it, everything, just perfect. Um, and I don't know, I just knew when I saw the pattern that I would love it. Let's just see. I'm sure that's, yeah, there's some, I'm sure this is the right way around. Yeah, it fits really, really well. Um, the sleeves are just beautiful how they're finished on the, um, not really sleeves, shoulders. Um, yeah, you knit this top all in the round and then you split, you knit the front to the armpits and the back to the armpits and then you join together again. And yeah, it's very quick knit. This, even though it's four ply, it doesn't take any time at all to knit it. Um, the, um, the eyelets are really easy to, to memorise and knit. Um, and I think it's just a perfect length with my tattoo, um, I've worn this quite a lot already, and it hasn't even been warm enough, <laughs> warm enough to wear it yet. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed knitting this, and I was so pleased that I paid for a pattern, and um, because I, when I saw the pattern, I just knew that was exactly what I was looking for. So it was well worth the uh, six pounds to um, six pound something to to pay for a beautiful pattern. And uh, my and I well, like I like the drop, drop shoulders and this tiny tiny little sleeve. There's just a couple of rows of ribbing and then um, tubular bind off thing on the bottom. Yeah, just lovely. Um, again, drop saffron, and I've got another two to show you yet. Uh, next one, I am a little bit obsessed with. Um, broken rib so because these colors were very very similar I thought I can't make the same pattern again because it'll just look like the same same t-shirt and I wanted to do something a little bit different um, at first I thought that I will do the pattern that I've knitted before um, Ingrid sweater by Petite Knit I love that pattern and I did all the top and then I thought, oh, I'll start with the eyelet from the Ingrid sweater and then do all the different um, uh, patterns that are in that pattern. But then I changed my mind and I thought, oh, I think that after the um, eyelet, eyelet roll, I think it will be quite nice in just broken rib. And I really enjoy knitting broken rib. So that's what I did. And I, I'm so pleased with this. Um, there's just one stitch 
that is a little bit dodgy that I just need to sew it in a bit. That is my, um, one of my short rows. It's very, very loose, right at the front there. I don't know what's happened there. So I'll just get a little bit of this yarn. Luckily, I haven't weaved in the end, so I've got some, uh, I've got some yarn left here that I can, uh, I can use to uh, sort that stitch out. But it's the exactly the same pattern. I've just changed from eyelet to just an eyelet row, and then broken rape, and then I did a couple of rows of ribbing at the uh, uh, hem, and tubular bind up again. Same with the sleeves. Again, I've worn this few times, although the ends are more than any yet. And then I went on to knit a third one. Yeah, third one. Um, this is for my doll. So this is knitted with all the leftovers. Um, I didn't think it was going to be very, very long. So um, I just used all the leftovers and knitted until I ran out of the first colour, which I can't quite remember which one it was. Um, I had lots um, of this pink but I decided not to use it and I've, uh, I don't have that yarn anymore. I was going to send it back, but then with the postage, um, it wasn't worth it. So I, I, I sold it in my, in my second hand shop. Um, so I've only used one ball of this pink and then used the leftovers from all of these three to create a fourth one. And th this is for my daughter, it's too cropped for me. I think if I wore um, like a maxi dress, it would be okay, uh, but it doesn't uh, come to my belly button. So it's, it is a little bit short, but I knit it the same size as uh, these two, but it's just quite a bit shorter uh, because I was just using up all the yarn. I'm a little, little bit obsessed knitting with new yarn. So I don't like to have any stash if I can help it. Um, I get so excited with the with new brand new yarn. Uh, I don't really get excited with knitting from stash. Um, although I did go on a big yarn crawl last year and went to Yarndale and I've knitted it all up. But I get I think I get more enjoyment from new yarn if I can decide that's what I'm going to knit and that's the yarn and I can just buy brand new and fresh there and then. That's that's what I enjoy most. But I uh, I enjoy these, although I bought four tops, were enough yarn for four tops at the same time, so I uh, I didn't enjoy that. On this one, I knitted this one actually slightly differently because it, it has short, this pattern has short rows in the uh, stockinette part, but I didn't want to, disturb the stripes um, uh, and I'll put the short rows in the uh, in the ribbing so you can see that it's deep at the back than it's at the front and then it doesn't disturb the uh, striping but yeah I think these are all of these will get a lot of wear a lot of wear this uh, this summer then I had tiny let's see if it's here then I had tiniest little bit of yarn left um, uh, and I needed a dishcloth with it. So this is what was left from the four t-shirts I knitted. I just held the yarns together and um, and knitted a little dishcloth. Um, although this is now in my daughter's doll's house, it's a Barbie blanket. It never made it to <laughs> to be a um, dishcloth. Much more exciting to have a nice little. Um, Barbie blanket um, and it's, it's quite cool how it's half and half very easy pattern um, I'll link um, link it to my link my Ravelry page below so you can find this free pattern so easy to knit and I, I like the eyelets I seem to be into eyelets at the moment so um, yeah so that all those yarns got used up or so so those none left in the stash but I have to say I'm pleased that I haven't weaved in the ends on on the um, uh, broken rip one because I need to sort out that dodgy 
um, short roll there. And then um, I've been saying how much I love Drops Flora. Um, as soon as I had nearly finished the yarn, I put in a new order at Wool Warehouse, which is my favourite online wool shop. I don't know why, I just find it really easy to use, quick delivery, and the delivery guy is just, uh, they use every, and he's just such a happy guy. He just makes you smile. He's he's just lovely. <laughs> so, so um, I know it's nothing to do with all warehouse, but it's just he just brings uh, uh, brings a smile to your face when he um, brings your delivery to you. So I ordered um, fifteen balls of drops Nepal uh, because I wanted to knit the uh, champagne cardigan by Petite Knit. Because after I finished all these teas, all I really wanted was cardigans. I've only got two cardigans in my wardrobe and I wear them all the time, but they're both knitted with mohair. And I don't know if that's the most comfortable thing to, to wear in the summer. So first I knitted this, um, farmhouse cardigan but I wanted something a bit more um, I don't know finished sleek looking uh, and champagne cardigan is that exactly that um, this farmhouse cardigan is so cozy and comfy and it's got all these textures it is only knits and pearls but there's um, um, there's ribbing, there's stockinette, there's garter stitch, there's so many different textures and it is just lovely. But I um, I just wanted something very simple and um, something to wear with jeans or with a dress and champagne cardigan was the one that kept coming, coming up for me. It's all in stockinette including the bottom band. I'm well it's well on the way. I'm knitting it from three different directions as you do. Let's see if I can somehow show you what's going on here. It's um, This is again pattern by Petite Knit. I'm knitting a couple of her patterns now. Um, the Ingrid sweater is her pattern and I love it. I'm knitting four of them. Two for me and two for my daughter. And um, yeah, it's, it's a lovely pattern. Um, and this is the champagne cardigan. It's pretty much the same colour as the uh, uh, sample that she knitted, um, knitted the, um, uh, for the pattern. Uh, very, very, I think it's called chalk. Drops Nepal in chalk. And it's, I think, I'm pretty sure this is on offer at Wool Warehouse at the minute. I've never knitted with this. It's um, Aran weight yarn, but it's same as, um, it's, it's got alpaca and wool, same as the Drops Flora. Um, so I thought, because I love Drops Flora, I thought I would love this, and I really do. It's so nice to knit with. Um, and this hasn't been blocked yet, but I think it's, I think it's quite, quite even you can see a little bit of um, rolling out there when my um, pearl rolls are maybe ever so slightly looser than my knit rolls or might be the other way around I don't actually know but yeah I've got um, I've got a that's the halfway mark for the uh, body so um, so I've got about a quarter, quarter of it left to do and then um, this this sleeve has had a full full ball of yarn um, maybe needs another one and then this sleeve I've just got a little bit left of the ball so I might go and do a little bit of the body next and then another sleeve but I think whatever happens I'm going to finish the sleeves first just in case I'm 
running out of yarn but I don't think I will because I've got two, two four six, I've got eight full balls of yarn um out of 15 so I've got just over half left and I think I'm over halfway there although the uh, the button band that might take quite a lot of yarn it's double knitting and I think it's 15 row width um so it might take quite a lot of yarn so what I'll do I'll completely finish the sleeves and then then see how much I've got left but I think I will have plenty it feels like there's plenty left there. It's knitted at quite tight gauge, but I, I like that. Um, and when I measured my gauge, it was it was spot on, but again, my roll gauge was way out. I don't know why that is. My stitches are taller than in the pattern. So I was a little bit worried that this Raglan section uh, to the armpit might be too deep but I think it's okay it's quite an oversized pattern so I think it's okay that your uh, your armpit isn't right um, right there or your, the split for the sleeves isn't right there and um, it's a little bit lower down so I'm looking forward to wearing this I love the colour um, and with it having the two different um, it's got um, alpaca and wool and they've taken the um, the color slightly differently so there's nice little bit of variation quite similar to this actually where i've held two different yarns together there's similar variation that i can see there so that's what i've got on my needles at the moment i'm really enjoying it just stocking stitch if i get bored with i don't mind purling but if i get bored I can just go and do a little bit of a sleeve and then the other sleeve. I've got two two sets of um, inter, in, uh, interchangeable needle tips, chow goo needle tips. I think I've got the four inch ones and then the five inch ones. And when I'm doing longer rolls, I, I prefer the five inch ones, but for uh, sleeves, I prefer the four inch tips. Um, and as you can see, I've got six needles here at the minute. Um, so on the body, I've got a pair, uh, four and a half millimetres. And then on the sleeves, um, the needle that I knit with, the right hand side needle, that's four and a half millimetre. But the one that I'm knitting off is four millimetre needle because I don't have six needle tips in four and a half I'll have got four um, I find that if you have the uh, needle that you're knitting off from if that's a uh, smaller size your stitches nearly fly they it, it seems to be much quicker they never get stuck on the needle I'm a tight knitter so that's helping me to um, for the knitting to really flow nicely so I'm really enjoying that um, but this, this is knitted flat, so they have to be the same size needle. Um, or you could change them to different size needles if your knits are very different to your pearls. Uh, but I think my tensions, is uh, I think it's evening out. Oh, is it? I don't know. Or it's consistently rolling out. But I think when I plug it, they will even out. I think it'll be absolutely fine. So that's, um, yeah, I'm enjoying that. Uh, I'll put a few more rolls on it tonight. And I've already got a plan for next one. Um, I applied to test knit a striped sweater, DK uh, weight, uh, weight sweater. And I got an email back today that I've been accepted to test knit it. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's a test knit for Koto Wakika. She's a Finnish um, or lives in Finland. Uh, I don't know if she's actually Swedish, uh, but she lives in Finland um, and she's a knitwear designer. I bought her book called Knit This last year and knitted a couple of jumpers from there already and really enjoyed them. And when the test knit came out, I thought, oh, I really want a striped DK wet sweater for the summer. Um, so I'm just going to knit this. Um, 
the champagne cardigan and I'll start looking out what yarn I want to use for the striped one. So I'm quite um, excited about um, the stripes knit so fast. I'm quite excited about knitting it. I don't think I've got a striped sweater at the minute. No, I haven't. Uh, this, this, is, this, this was stripes and it knits so quickly. I don't know what it is about stripes, but there's something you just think, oh, I'll just do my, one more stripe. Oh, I'll just do one more stripe. And it just seems to really keep you interested and uh, momentum going. So it's a drop shoulder construction, top down, lots of stripes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But before that, I, I am looking forward to wearing this. Really looking forward to wearing this. So I need to get on and knit it up and get some buttons for both of my cardigans. Um, I don't I don't think I've got any buttons that would be um, any suitable for either of those. So I need to find some. But it's been nice to chat to you again. And uh, what I was going to say actually, I am going to knit another one of these jumpers uh, t-shirts because I've got enough of yarn left from this one. So I'm going to do another stripe one. I'm going to do cotton stripes and then wool and alpaca stripes. That's my plan um, with this Gerrit. Where's the original? Oh, I'm wearing it with this um, with this pattern. So I really enjoyed knitting it and the construction and the shoulders. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. So I'm going to make a stripe version with the leftover yards from this. So I've got plenty on the go and plenty of plans and uh, adding cardigans to my wardrobe as well. So this, these, these are exciting uh, because I think that's, that's what's been missing. And I like to knit things that I wear or my daughter wears. Um, all my knits, all my well of knits I every day use. I, I wear something hand knitted every single day. But there are some some sweaters just don't get out of the wardrobe. And I don't know, sometimes the fit's not right, the colour's not right, or for whatever reason it's not quite right. But I think you'll just have to move on and give it to someone else or sell it and uh, need another one. I think that's the um, huge enjoyment in it. And I, I get so much joy from knitting, but I do want to knit um items that i wear i did knit the uh black pair of socks that i had to order the yarn um to get over the 30 pounds free um postage limit and uh, oh my goodness they were so hard to knit so hard to knit um even this time of the year i dropped stitches um they were very difficult um, I don't know why black yarn is so difficult to knit with. And I did, I did a heel flap and gusset construction. They were toe up with a heel flap and gusset and the heels just had so much knitting in them. I don't know, just felt like they just took forever to knit, but they fit very well and I've worn them so much. Uh, it is getting just that little bit warmer now that I don't have to wear wool socks anymore but until last week I was still wearing them just about every day but hopefully now we can move on to wearing these cotton knits um, and cardigans and um, put sandals on probably not with socks but uh, uh, <laughs> you never know with this what the summer's going to be like but anyway I'm rambling on now that's all for today Hope you've enjoyed your knitting and uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll be wearing my champagne cardigan then. Bye.